down. Okay, Mr. Kenya, can you please take an envelope? Okay. Okay, who's the person who has had biggest influence on you and why? Thanks so much for the question. The person who has had the biggest influence on me has to be my mom. This is because my mom was the first person in her village to be educated. And through her hard work, she was able to educate my uncle, who ended up becoming the CEO of Kenya Airport Authority in this country. Wow. Furthermore, my mom has created a legacy. She's been able to educate other people in her life. And after my brother died, I was so confused about my next step in life. But when I look at my mom and everything she's been through, from losing her mom to her son the next day, she still moves on with vigor in life. She inspires me a lot. It would be a dishonor to look outside when right next to me, God gave me an angel who is so resilient, hardworking, and loves to help other people in life. Thank you, Mom. I love you. Oh, great, great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kenya. That's the final qualifier from Africa. We now move to the continent of Asia and Oceania. The first qualifier. India. Welcome world, my name is Gokul Ganesan, born and raised in the vibrant city of Chennai, India. Change is constant and to keep up with change is a privilege. Many tribal communities in India do not have the privilege and still struggle to meet their basic needs. I aspire to uplift them because beyond the world of personal ambitions, there lies an urge to make a difference. Watch me paint the world in the colors of India as I proudly represent my country at Mr. World. See you soon, Vietnam. Okay, Mr. India, now it's your turn. Please be an envelope. If you could sit down with the current president of your country, what topic would you like to discuss? Chin Chao Vietnam, thank you so much for the question, sir. If I could sit down with the President of India at the moment, I would really like to discuss the transparency of the government policies because uh, there are budgets that are being put out for the betterment of people. But if we could see where the money is being allotted and if the work is actually getting allocated and if it reaches the people to the end, I really would uh, appreciate the transparency and people will trust the government better and we could build a, a, build a better future and uh, people will uh, start paying their taxes on, on time and uh, will not run away from it. So I think that would be the issue I would like to discuss with our Honourable President. Thank you. <laughs> I will do the same. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, India. Our next qualifier to the top ten is... Turkey! Congratulations. So much, sir. and I'm proud to represent Turkey at this world. Being part of this world is an opportunity to inspire others, to pursue their passions, lead healthier lives, and remind them that kindness and support can create a stronger world. I believe that when we lift each other up, we can achieve something truly meaningful. Thank you for being Part of my journey, you make it even more special. Okay, Mr. Turkey, it's your turn. Can you please speak up an envelope? If 
you could have dinner with anyone, dead or alive, who would you, who would it be and why? Can I say two? Okay, first of all, I would love to sit on a table with Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, which is the father of Turks, our great leader and the father of Turks there. Yeah, I would love to sit and talk with him about anything. And the second, uh, if I could have, yeah, that would be my father. One last time. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I understand that. My father, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Turkey. Okay. Our next qualifier. There's a lot of noise here at Nova World. It's going to get a lot louder. It's Vietnam. Hello world, my name is Pak Tok Nok, 25 years old and I'm Mr. World Vietnam 2024. Welcome to a beautiful country, Vietnam! Let's step into this journey with full determination and passion. Ready to face every challenges and the capacity of the impact on the community. And I finally represent Vietnam in Mr. World 2024. Okay, Vietnam, it's your turn. Please pick up an envelope. How do you use your social media to bring positive changes? Hello, everyone. I do believe that we are living in a world of globalization, and social media has placed an important role in our life. And I think that social media is a tool, the powerful tool, to amplify, amplify the voices of our young generation. And if I have the opportunity to amplify my voice, I will use the platform, this Mr. World platform, to raise the awareness of every single person to be the voice of hope and action. And I do believe that through the Mr. World journey, I will transform the lives of so many of other people and inspire changes because we are here, all brothers from any countries in the world, we collaborate in the, here in the Mr. World journey and we make a differences for our generation and our people. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm sure you will. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vietnam. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the final place goes to a competition that's been running on Eventista and it's now coming to its conclusion because the qualifiers from the first round were Peru, Belgium, Sierra Leone and Sri Lanka and the public have been voting worldwide to decide who is the people's champion and that people's champion will now join the top ten. The Mr. World. People's champion is Sri Lanka. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It is so real to be standing on the stage. To present the trophy to Mr. World 2024 People's Choice, I would like to introduce Mr. Tony 
Huyen, CEO of Eventista, strategic technology partner, official voting portal. 